What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Nate. Today, we are diving into the best generative AI tools for creatives. You might be thinking, Nate, generative AI and creatives don't mix, but trust me, by the end of this list, I bet you're gonna have your mind blown because these are tools that give power back to the creatives. I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Moon Valley is a pretty awesome tool in which it allows the users to generate videos with much more control and precision while also having the confidence that all of the training data is fully licensed and commercially safe, making it a top choice for creatives. So if you are someone who is doing something more professional and you're worried about the legality of your generations, you don't have to worry about that with Moon Valley. You still get all of the great controls of generative AI because it allows you to do things like post transfers. It also allows you to have camera control. So here we can do things like 3D camera position positioning. We can also do motion transfers. And another feature that they have is trajectory control. It is definitely a powerful and awesome tool for creatives. And even though it's relatively brand new, I think it's taking the industry by storm. Of course, not every output you're gonna get is gonna be perfect, but I definitely like the direction they're taking by giving more control to creatives, making it one of the top choices in the list. Another really awesome tool is Runways Alif. It just came out and it's honestly probably one of the easiest ways to edit, transform, and generate videos because we can input in a video as a reference and then say, make a different shot or we can change the lighting of a scene. We can change the weather. Here is a quick example in which on my birthday, I had a chocolate cake and I could say, just change the cake to be made of fire and lava and it instantly changes the cake to be made of fire and lava while changing all the lighting and keeping the rest of the details details intact. So this is a very powerful model. And here you can see the original video compared to the final output. Something like this in After Effects would have taken forever to do. And of course there are even more features. So I definitely think that you guys are gonna enjoy using Runway. Next up we have Envato, which is one of my favorite tools because they have one of the most comprehensive libraries of stock videos, video templates, photos, royalty free music, sound effects, graphics templates, and so, so much more. Not only that, but they have gotten a huge upgrade by having a complete AI technology stack. And for the month of September, they're giving unlimited video generations with their $16.50 a month plan. You definitely don't wanna miss out on this deal. It comes with a lifetime commercial license for all of the stuff that you generate. And it is one of our absolute favorite tools that we recommend time and time again to creatives. So here you'll see that they have image gen, image edit, video gen, music gen, voice gen, graphics gen, inspo gen, and AI search. If you're a creative that uses generative AI to enhance their workflows, you'll know that signing up for many different tools can be a little bit of a challenge because then you have to have all these different logins. There's all these different interfaces, but the benefit of having Envato is that everything can live all in one place and it's nice and easy because Envato was made for creatives and they're continuing that mission by adding all these additional features. So here in AI image gen, if I wanted to type in a photo of a camera floating in space and click generate, I get eight different options. If I also wanted to change the aspect ratio, I can select either square, landscape, or portrait. I can type in a prompt, click on enhance prompt, and my simple prompt becomes much longer. Let's click generate. Wow, this was a pretty impressive. Not only that, but I have the options to download the image and generate new images in a similar style, as well as click on these three dots and click on edit. That takes me to my next tab for image edit where we have this nice, easy to use canvas that allows me to do things like remove a background. I can also preview different options for it and click keep if I wanted to. I can also upscale the image, expand it, replace certain elements inside of the image. And a really handy technique is that I can also click on generate video, choose my aspect ratio, click on generate. And now we're able to work with the AI video generation tool using that AI generated image that we just created. So let's also go ahead here and type in a prompt. The camera floats in space and rotates. Then I'll also use the AI enhance my prompt button. Let's click generate. And it should take roughly about a minute to finish. Check out this video. I think this looks pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and save out this video. And if we wanted to add background music, we could definitely do that using music gen. I can type in a cinematic epic movie trailer theme. And if I wanted a little bit more inspiration and help with this, I can also click on one of these tabs, which will give us different keywords that we can use. Here I'll type in epic, I also put euphoric and heavy and ponderous, click generate. We're not just getting back one generation, but we're actually getting back 
multiple generations. So even though we're still at about 45%, here I'm seeing that I have two tracks already and let's take a listen. So I definitely think these last two are my favorite. If I liked a track, but it wasn't long enough, I can also click on the extend track button. Or if I wanted to create more tracks in a similar style, I can click on generate similar. I can also favorite these. If we needed more, we can also click on the generate more button. I'm gonna click on download for this track over here. That way I can save out that background music. And then I can go over to voice gen. And here I can get the perfect voiceover for my content. We can select the gender. We can also select the age and the use case. So I wanna create something for a narration. Now we have these different voices sorted out. And let's take a listen to whichever one that we like. I'm Blake and nothing beats that feeling when a caller connects with my radio show. I'm Stefan and I uncover stories that transport readers through time and imagine. I'm Lydia and there's nothing I enjoy more than a good cup of tea and a lively conversation. And I believe every story is a passport to a world waiting to be discovered. I'm William and I have a vast collection of leather bound books. Okay, I think I liked William's one. So here I'm gonna select the voice and now I can also change their pacing. So I can either make it slow, moderate or fast. I'm gonna keep it at moderate here. And then I'll try and make like a documentary script. So let's do where he says the camera floats in space because light is endless. Let's watch this journey. Of course, you can make him say anything that you wanted. Click generate and almost instantly we get back at William now saying the camera floats in space because light is endless. Let's watch this journey. All right, awesome. So I'm going to download this now. And then of course, in any video editing tool that you wanted, you can then drag in your clips. So here I'll drag in that video that we generated. I'll also pop in our background music and then our voice over here. And let's take a quick look at what we were able to generate in just a matter of seconds. The camera floats in space because light is endless. Let's watch this journey. Of course, if you spent a little bit more time planning out your shots instead of winging it like I did right here, then you're probably gonna get something even better, but this is a really great starting point. And then at the very end here, very similar to image gen, but here we have graphics gen, which is specifically focused more for creating these type of illustrative graphics. And a really cool feature is that we can generate it with a transparent background. Let's say I wanted a simple vector art logo of an astronaut holding pizza. Then I can click on generate and here we get back different graphics that we can then use. I can click on this one. And the really cool thing is that it does have a transparent background. So here I can drag it into Premiere and you'll see that we can then layer up multiple elements together and create something that looks pretty cool. So anyways, I hope you enjoy checking out Envato and their generative AI features. And of course, we're gonna have a link down in that description so you can go ahead and check it out for yourself today. Huge thanks to Envato for sponsoring this segment and let's hop into the next best creative AI tool. ComfyWise node-based interface is like directly looking underneath the hood of an AI engine. It might seem intimidating at first, but it is the most flexible and powerful interface out there today. This is because it has a massive developer community. And if there's a new AI model or a new workflow or a new technique, it will almost always appear on ComfyUI first. If ComfyUI is like a custom built AI engine, think of Invoke AI as a finely tuned sports car. It's less about building the workflow from complete scratch, and instead it's more about providing a polished, clean user interface for local image generation. It honestly feels a little bit like Photoshop for AI, and it's also open source, which makes it a fantastic choice, though you do trade some of ComfyUI's infinite flexibility for a more streamlined experience. The next really awesome tool is using Nano Banana, which is available on Gemini's 2.5 Flash, or you can also get it using Envato. I will say using the Envato Auto method will allow you to generate images without having to have that watermark. But if you're just using a free plan and just want to try this out, you can go ahead and do it today. So here I want to click on use the image editing option and you'll see that we have this little banana icon. And now I can go ahead and upload in an image. We're going to use this image of myself mocked up as a cartoon character, as a knight holding a microphone in this medieval setting. Let's try this make this character riding on a horse. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now, let's say give the character 
a sword and have a dragon in the background. Okay, and I think that looks pretty impressive. We were able to take that initial illustration and then make this into an entire scene. Not only that, but we can keep iterating on it. So if I wanted to change the background, let's say make the background look like New York City. I mean, it won't really make sense in the context of this image, but let's see how well Nano Banana does. All right, and I gotta say, that's pretty awesome because we were able to go from this image into this one and we have such a consistent character. I will say the hand holding the sword looks pretty messed up, but I think if we were to try and iterate on this even more, it would probably come out a lot better. Another interesting use case that I've seen is being able to restore old photography. So let's take this image here, which looks like it's Santa Monica Boulevard in what is probably like the early 1930s or so. So let's drag this image in here. And then here I'll say colorize this photo and make it high quality. Here is the final result that we get. I gotta say, this looks amazing, especially with something so simple as just using this command-based prompt. So if you have images that you wanna edit and get results back really quickly, I would highly recommend you use the Envato version because that way you're not gonna get that little Gemini watermark in the right-hand corner. So make sure you go ahead and check that out as well. So the next generative AI creative tool is Film Pro, which if you're someone who is working with a script, trying to make sense of your entire project, your different shots, characters, locations, then Film Pro helps make that whole process super easy because you can upload a script and it will analyze my entire screenplay. You can see we have a relatively short one, but it can handle much longer ones. It already creates a project name. I'll type in my writer name, Nate Dwarka and then it has the settings, it has the genre, which this was a music video film script. I can type in my inspirations, Kingdom Hearts, Inception, Spirited Away, the Belly movie. Let me now click add, and these are gonna add in all of my inspirations. I'll click on create project, and now you'll see that it is generating a film poster. It's also generating the characters that are introduced in the script, as well as generating the locations. So this is an extremely handy tool if you're someone who has a script and wants to have a concept a little bit more actualized. Okay, and now we see that it's analyzed the entire script. We have a film poster, we have the writer, we have the setting, and then we also have it generating a tagline, a logline, as well as synopsis. And this looks amazing. But the really cool part is that we don't have to just use what it automatically gives us. Instead, if we wanted to change the film poster, we can click on regenerate. So here I want it to improve the text here. And wow, I think this looks pretty good. One thing that's also really cool about this is that it has the context of our entire script that we fed it. In the script, we have a character that falls through the sky and he also then ends up underwater and there's these jellyfish and all these minute details are actually implemented inside of this poster. Another really cool thing is that we also have the character breakdown and it has every character that it was able to find in there. And let's say that we wanted to generate an image of this character based off of those descriptions. Of course, if I wanted to change this, so rather than having this white male character, I could say a black male with a beard and then I can click on generate preview. And here I now have an updated image. We can generate images for the additional characters for the locations. Here we have the multiple locations that are introduced in the script for the club entrance. It generates a description based on the script. This is exactly what I was envisioning. And based on the script, I get a really easy to understand script breakdown, which has interior club entrance. It has whether it's a day or a night scene, the size, which is one eighth. This is related to the length of the page or essentially how long that scene is gonna be. And then we have the characters that are featured in it as well as scene descriptions. So this is a really solid pre-production tool and the features are constantly getting built out. Pretty soon they're gonna have more capabilities allowing you to not just handle the pre-production production side, but also the production side. If you wanted to take this to the next level, you can generate images in the shot lab here. I can add in a description for my shot. So let's do a cinematic scene in which the man enters the club entrance and then I'll click on generate shot. And this is really cool because now we have our male character that we defined earlier. We have that setting and that information from our script before and it generates this really awesome looking shot. But of course, just like everything within this platform, it's not just limited to where you're accepting whatever the AI produces, you can make changes to this. So I hope you enjoy checking out Film Pro. And if you are a member of our course, we did a 
live session with the co-founder of Film Pro, the one who's actually developing and building out the features. That way you get hands-on training as well as bonus credits for whenever you sign up. So make sure you don't miss that. Of course, there are gonna be links down in that description, just like with all the tools that we feature on this list. A quick disclaimer about this list, there are way too many tools that I'm not gonna be able to cover in this video because otherwise it'd be extremely long. So if you were interested in learning more, make sure you go ahead and check out our course down below because that's where you're gonna find more in-depth guides as well as actual projects and some of the most revolutionary and groundbreaking techniques and the way to think about using generative AI with your workflows. We've poured everything into making it the most comprehensive course available to where we're not just talking about basic tools, but instead we're diving deep under the hood. We're training our own AI models as well and really demystifying a lot of the stuff that gets put out there like that AI is a black box that no one can really control. Instead, we talk about how this is just a new technology and we really believe in a saying over here at Black Mixture and that is tech begets art. So of course, when something brand new comes out, it's gonna face a bit of pushback just like when cameras came out, it didn't destroy painting. Instead, we ended up with a new art form of photography. And we believe strongly that generative AI is just the next evolution in that step. So make sure you go ahead and check out our course because nowadays a lot of companies are not looking as to whether or not something was created with AI. They're looking for creative professionals who are able to harness and use AI. Check out all those links down in that description box and be sure to sign up for the course because it's going on right now. We have our very first cohort. The students are creating some amazing stuff and getting access to a whole lot of bonus credits from our partners, as well as opportunities to get their work out there in front of some major industry figures. So if you're someone who is going to get serious about learning generative AI and actually making a professional and something tangible out of it, not just AI slop, then make sure you go ahead and check out our course and sign up today. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, peace. Wait, you thought it was over? Nah, we just getting started. Check that link in the description to enroll in Black Mixture's Advanced Generative AI course today.